I'm Audrey. And I'm Lauren. And today we are doing a what is the month? January through March <laughs> wrap up video yes. of all the books we have read. And it's gonna She's be. She's read about 20 more than me. So. No, because I've only <laughs> read 19 total. Only 19. Only. <laughs> so my books are all in order of when I read them. So the first book I read this year was about halfway through January. It was Girl Against the Universe by Paula Stokes. And I really enjoyed it. It was so cute. It was perfect contemporary. I took it on vacation with me and it was like the best vacation buddy. I loved it a lot. It was very cute. I was really happy with it. Mine's not in order because I don't remember. Disgrace. <laughs> and also, <laughs> most of mine are rereads because new books in series came out, so I had to reread series. Gotta catch up. And also, I just reread them for fun. <laughs> Both things. <laughs> so I started, I read the selection, the elite, and partway through the one again because I just missed Max in America. <laughs> but then I wanted to start new books, and so I stopped through the one. But yeah, yep. those are my first one. That. The next books I read was also the Selection Trilogy. I only brought the first book with me. We actually hosted a read-along for this on our Instagram, which was why oh, I started to reread it. <laughs> and we only went to read the first book, but then I was like, I have to finish. I have to remember everything. So I did, and I was, I, I, I love those books, you know? They're <laughs> Emma books always says the selection is book crack, and she is so correct. <laughs> Another one I read with Three Dark Crowns, which I've talked about before, but I really enjoyed this one. I really enjoy, like, dark fantasy, I guess. Yeah. Like, it's just really entertaining sometimes, and Arsenault is my hero, so... <laughs> the next <laughs> books I read were the first two books in the Red Queen series, Red Queen and Glass Sword. This was in preparation for King's Cage, which I do own, but have not yet read. Uh, I'm really excited to read it because we left Mare getting captured by Maven and Cal is looking for her and I just want them to be reunited because I love them so much. I just, I am emotional and excited to read King's Cage. <laughs> and this is another repetitive one, but I also started Red Queen, but I uh, got like this far through it. <laughs> yeah, so I read partway through this, but then I just got bored because I just want to get to King's Cage already. And you have to remember. I wanted to start reading other stuff. The next book I read at this point is my favorite book of 2017, Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo, and oh my lord, everything about this book was pure perfection. I have literally no critique for it, and I always have critique for books, even the ones that I like, but like, there is nothing! I love this book, it was so good. The next one I have is Study in Charlotte, which is one of my favorite books of this year. It's so beautiful, and it's, uh, I still need to by the last of August. I don't know why I haven't bought it, but I I'm ashamed it. of myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just felt really deep. <laughs> because I just really need more of Watson and Holmes. So. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. <laughs> the next book I read was The Last of August by our lovely author, homie, Brittany Cavallero. And I have reviewed this book. I'll link it in somewhere. Um, but I was really pleased with it. I, I didn't love it as much as Study in Charlotte, but like it was right out there. It was so close to being like on par with the first book. And I feel like book three is going to make me cry a lot, so it's fine. Another one I started is My Life is Ava, The Struggle is Real, which is by one of my favorite YouTubers. I got into her once we start our YouTube channel because I wasn't really into YouTube. I didn't really watch that much and now yeah. I'm like subscribe to everything. So, <laughs> I just love the co cover for this. There's a lot of like good life advice I guess in it. And it's just really sweet and funny and I just love it. The next book I read was the sequel to Six of Crows, Cricket Kingdom, also by Leigh Bardugo, and this book was also one of my favorite books of 2017 thus far. <laughs> I actually almost liked it more than I liked Six of Crows because the Matthias and Nina is so real in this book. And also the cows and the Enish, and oh, I'm so emotional, <laughs> you guys. I really wish there was more books, but it's just a duology, and it breaks my heart oh, every day. <laughs> um, but it had such a good ending, and I'm really happy with the way it all wrapped up. Like, <laughs> I just want more. I started Passenger recently. I started, yes. and I um, kind of read it over my trip to Fiji, and I read most of it on the airplane. It's so good, guys. <laughs> It's literally so good. I cannot stop reading it. We all know how much I love Passenger and how long and I asked Nicholas. you to read this book. Uh, I know, and I finally did. It took but you like, <laughs> what, almost a year to get around to it. I think I recommended uh, it to you really? last June. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Well, Nicholas and Etta are my favorite people and 
Oh my gosh, I just love it so much. <laughs> it's really good. My next book coincides with Lauren's last book. It is Wayfarer by Alexander Bracken, and I legitimately just spoke to you on how much I love Passenger, and my love for Wayfarer was just not the same. And I'm emotional <laughs> about it, but it's it's fine. Um, I do like this book because it is signed. It is my signed, beautiful Aww. copy. And the cover is gorgeous, and Sophia was bomb in this book. But I'm gonna leave it at that, because I did I did film a review for this recently, and that'll be up eventually, so you can watch that if you want to know more about <laughs> my feelings for Wayfair. <laughs> I also read The Bad Beginning by Lemony Snicket for the first time ever. <laughs> um, my sister really wanted to watch the Netflix series, but I wanted to read the books first so to good. have like the experience. And I loved it. I was actually so amazed with how much I liked it because it's so young and it's like this skinny little mm -hmm. nugget of a book. <laughs> but I really enjoyed it and I absolutely really thought the Netflix adaption was very faithful. It was so good. I need to Neil Patrick that Harris thing. is a great count of love. I'm uh, emo. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> the next book I read was a graphic novel, Nimona by Noelle Stevenson, which I also forgot to bring with me. But I really enjoyed this. I actually read this while I was reading Wayfarer because I was so frustrated with Wayfarer that I needed like a break. <laughs> so I read Nimona. It only took me like two hours because it's all pictures, but it was a very cute story. I like the idea of it being centered around a villain instead of a hero, which was, it was really, it was a very interesting. And that's cool. I like the art style. It was very cute. My next book is the first adult book I read this year. A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. This really gorgeous high fantasy novel about alternate dimension Londons and I really like Hal Marish is the love of my life. And Lila <laughs> is awesome and I really enjoyed this book. I actually also filmed a review for this so I'm not gonna go into too much detail. I will link that eventually when that goes up so you can go hear all my feelings about A Dark Shade of Magic, and hopefully I'll have read the next two by then, because I really enjoy this book. It's I really, really like good. the cover. It's really I know, cool. isn't it pretty? It's I, like like the, I like the colors. It's very yeah. simple. It's clean. <laughs> the next book I read, Unfiltered by <laughs> Lily Collins. This is the first young adult autobiography that I've personally ever seen. That's mine too. I'm sure there are kind some, the same time too. but I really enjoyed this book. And I really love Lily Collins. I have for a long time. It was just so it was it was very good. A lot of good self-help advice. You know, I just really enjoyed it. It was a really cute book. And I like that it was so a pretty. young I like that it was a young adult autobiography. The struggle with a lot of autobiographies is that they're written for adults, so like young adults can read them, but they're like, I don't understand any of these experiences. <laughs> what is going on? So I really enjoyed that this was like, oh, I relate to everything she's talking about in this book. Yeah. So it was very good. I really liked it. And the last book I've read so far this year was Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I hosted a read-along for this on my Goodreads. Um, me and four or five other people all read this together, and we had such a fun time. Um, we are going to be starting another one soon. I think, I think um, April 10th? is when our next one starts. We haven't officially decided on our book yet, but I think we're gonna read The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, so come join us, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really loved Illuminae. Um, it was this great sci-fi novel, so meaty. I mean, there's just so much happening. I love the design. That's it's cool. not written like a regular like huh. narrative. It's huge. It's huge! Um, <laughs> Aiden is an amazing character, I think aggressively <laughs> underrated. Ezra Mason is the new love of my life. <laughs> and Katie Grant is the single smartest teenager I've ever read about in a book. I liked the realistic computer aspects of this sci-fi book. I think a lot of young adult books are like, and then she hit the K key and the whole system opened. But like, <laughs> this one went into a lot of depth about how hard it was for her to like break into systems in order to save her ship. And it was really cool. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I don't even like sci-fi, but like, I really, really liked this. It doesn't book. look like a sci-fi. It totally is. It, it literally, like it literally takes place in space. <laughs> but I really liked it. I'm excited to read Gemina, and they're revealing the third book title next week, and I just want to know what it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited though. I really liked this book, and it has a lot of hype. So if you haven't read it, you definitely, definitely should. Okay, that's everything. I did it. I made it through. <laughs> Winter's winter into spring, into spring wrap up. <laughs> um, if you liked it, then give us a thumbs up because we like to know yeah. that you liked it. <laughs> yeah. Makes us feel good. <laughs> Comment down below what you read from January to, to March. now. To Ish. March. Or if you read any of the same books as us. We yeah, can, yeah. We can fangirl. And if you haven't subscribed yet, yeah. it'll be the button will be in between Actually, our faces. <laughs> you can watch our last video right down here. Ish, I think. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I think I think that's everything. Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'm Lauren. And I'm Audrey. And, and keep, keep on, on reading. reading.